Easy believism heretics will always say about salvation, it's easy, it's easy, all you have to do is believe. Just believe that Jesus is God, just acknowledge it with your mind, and you'll be saved. But is that what the Bible teaches? What does the Bible really say about salvation? Is it easy or is it not easy? Let's see what Jesus has to say about it. Now, if you're an easy believism heretic and you're watching this, you'll probably know the verses that I'll read because you know what the Bible says, but you reject it. You won't accept the Bible for what it says. Matthew chapter 19, verse 23. Then said Jesus unto his disciples, Verily I say unto you, that a rich man shall hardly enter into the kingdom of heaven. Wow! Doesn't sound so easy for the rich man, does it? We're talking about salvation here, entering into the kingdom of heaven. Verse 24, And again I say unto you, it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of God. Is it easy for rich men to go to the heaven, to go to heaven to be saved? It's about as easy as a camel to go through an eye of a needle. Okay? Not very easy here. What's the point that Jesus is trying to say? He's trying to say it's hard for rich men to go to heaven. Why? Because they are concerned about the things of this world. They are attached to this world. And, and the riches of this world has choked their hearts. Okay? Their heart has been hardened. They have been blinded. They cannot see past this life. They refuse to let go of these things. Okay? That doesn't mean that salvation is easy for everyone else either. Let's go to Matthew chapter 18 and verse 1. Matthew chapter 18. At the same time came the disciples unto Jesus, saying, Who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? And Jesus called a little child unto him and set him in the midst of them, and said, Verily I say unto you, Except ye be converted and become as little children, ye shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven. Okay, we're talking about salvation again. Verse 4, Whosoever therefore shall humble himself as this little child is this, the same as greatest in the kingdom of heaven. So see, belief also includes humbling yourself before the Lord. That's not always easy for everyone to do, to admit that they're a sinner in need of salvation. Okay, salvation is more than a simple head knowledge, okay? It's humbling yourself before the Lord. It's submitting yourself to His Lordship, okay? submitting and obeying. That is what true salvation is. Repentance. Turning from your sins. Um, so, salvation is not always easy. Don't get, don't get it confused that salvation is free with saying that salvation is easy. Because it's not easy, but it is free. Okay, let's go to Ephesians 2, 8, and 9. You should have this verse memorized if you've been saved for very long. Ephesians chapter 2, verses 8 and 9. For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God. Not of works, lest any man should boast. We can't earn our own salvation. There's nothing we can do to earn our own salvation. And so salvation is not a reward. It is a free gift. That does not mean that it is not easy, okay? That does not mean that it is not hard. Because we saw clearly that it's hard for a rich man to enter into heaven. So, the people who teach easy believism, they're teaching a gospel without repentance, okay? A gospel without repentance is a false gospel. Easy believism is heresy. At the same time came the disciples unto Jesus, saying, who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? And Jesus called a little child unto him, and set him in the midst of them, and said, Verily I say unto you, Except ye be converted, and become as little children, ye shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven. Except ye be converted, and become as little children, ye shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven.